On Thursday, Tiger Woods had a face-to-face -face meeting with Ellen Nordegren, his ex-wife. Nearly 14 years have passed since the couple filed for divorce following claims that the 15-time major champion had several extramarital affairs, which greatly embarrassed the Swedish beauty. His public admission of them simply made the humiliation worse. The father of two responded to the accusations back in December 2010 by saying, I am deeply aware of the disappointment and hurt that my infidelity has caused to so many people, most notably my wife and children. Most saw it to be the start of Woods's decline as a public figure. Sponsorship agreements fell through. He was dropped by Accenture, Gillette, and AT&T. The public scandal has continued to grow in the 11 years that have passed. The 48-year-old's four back surgeries haven't helped his deterioration on the course. Trouble has also followed those who veered off track. In 2021, he was arrested for operating a vehicle while intoxicated and was involved in a major collision. However, Woods is still here in spite of all the attention paid to him. Amazingly, he is scheduled to make his 26th appearance at the Masters on April 11th after having previously returned from the verge of retirement on multiple occasions. He has benefited from his mental toughness much beyond any major's extended weekend. It has been crucial that he can transcend the sport. According to Forbes, he is one of the most successful athletes in the world in terms of earnings and awards, and his net worth as of right now is Forbes is estimated to be worth £872 million, $1.1 billion. In addition to being one of the highest paid athletes of all time, beyond Cristiano Ronaldo, he shares the record for most PGA Tour wins, 82, with Sam Snead. Despite this, his life off the course has garnered a lot of attention in the last 15 years. Not that Woods seems to be paying attention. This week, his family life has been under scrutiny once more. Despite not being seen together much since their 2010 divorce following a six-year marriage, Nordegren and Woods were this week photographed at their son Charlie's high school state golf championship celebration in Palm Beach, Florida. At the ceremony, Woods was seen standing awkwardly next to the Swedish model as she posed for a photo with her son. The couple welcomed two children, Charlie, 15, and Samantha, 16, before divorcing, and they have shared custody of them ever since. Woods says they get along well as co-parents, despite the grounds for their breakup. Charlie's five-time Masters winner father has been a public figure, so it's not surprising that his son's personal growth has received attention recently. The two were spotted competing together at the PNC Championship in 2023, with Samantha caddying for her father. In 2020, Woods and his son made their playing debut at the PNC Championship, where Nordegren was seen spectating the match. It's a far cry from the family dynamic that made headlines worldwide 14 years ago when Woods, then 33, confessed to cheating on his wife and declared he would be taking a break from golf. Soon after, the couple would have a well-publicized divorce that reportedly cost them over £79 million, pounds, $100 million. Nonetheless, the couple has collaborated since their separation, putting their kids' needs first. The golfer says they are even close buddies. Woods provided insight into their relationship when he said, Having the relationship that I have now with her is fantastic. In an interview with Time magazine back in 2015, she is among my closest pals that we have constant communication and are able to pick up the phone. As each of us is aware, our children are the most significant aspects of our lives. In the interview, Woods went on to say that he would have a more open, honest relationship with his ex-wife. If he could go back to 2009, the year when the adultery scandal pushed him into the spotlight. When it all boils down to it, I just wish I had been more open and honest with my ex-wife when we were married. He continued, We would have expressed our frustrations if we had discussed it and been truthful and candid with one another. Which we are right now, and it's wonderful. In his book Tiger Woods Unprecedented, The Masters and Me, published in 2017, Woods once more discussed his connection with his kids and his ex-wife, saying, My regret will last a lifetime. Nevertheless, Ellen and I have become close as we provide for our children, and we are totally committed to them. 
For us, it is all about the children. The couple had an agreement after their divorce that Woods would have to stay out of the media spotlight in order to maintain his custody share. If he had gone above that, his time with the kids could have been reduced to just 30%. According to reports, Woods entered himself into a rehabilitation facility after being arrested for driving under the influence in May 2017 in order to maintain shared custody of his kids. When authorities discovered Woods dozing off inside his wrecked 2015 Mercedes-Benz with the engine running, he had taken a combination of prescription medications. Woods was then transported to the Jupiter Police Station for further processing. He was taken into custody at 3 a.m. on Monday, close to his Jupiter, Florida, home, and was held for four hours in the county prison. Following the publishing of a mugshot of the golf celebrity that was hardly recognizable, the golfer was charged with driving while intoxicated. Since February of that year, Woods had not participated in a competitive round of golf. In addition to using four prescription medications, Vicox, Solixex, Sick, Vicodin, and Torix, Woods had failed four sobriety tests. In a statement, Woods stated, What happened was an unexpected reaction to prescribed medications. I take full responsibility for my actions and understand the severity of what I did. I want the public to know that alcohol was not involved. I didn't realize the mix of medications had affected me so strongly. In addition, he expressed regret to his loved ones and friends and said, I expect more from myself too. I promise to use every resource at my disposal to make sure this never occurs again. Hughes Norton, the man who helped Woods earn millions after orchestrating his ascent to fame, was the one who spoke earlier this week about the professional golfer's personability and his ability to be merciless when ending relationships, both personal and professional. Ahead of the release of his book, Rainmaker, Super Agent Hughes Norton and the Money Grab Explosion of Golf, From Tiger to LIV and Beyond, Norton stated, The solace I can take, which doesn't provide much, is this, he, Woods, was an equal opportunity zombie with relationships, his swing coaches, his lawyer. The guy negotiated the IMG representation deal, with caddies. It ends when it does. It is the manner in which he ends connections with all of them, whether it's his ex-golf instructors or girlfriends. It is, in fact, ironic. He's quite adept at confrontation when it comes to the game of golf. He will consistently outsmart you if he is playing you. However, he lacks all social skills when it comes to dealing with me and other people in his life. It's actually really annoying. Since then, Nordegren has gotten to know former NFL player Jordan Cameron, with whom she has two kids, a daughter and a son. Cameron was formerly a tight end for the Miami Dolphins and Cleveland Browns. After his divorce, Woods has dated other women. Most notably, he was in a public relationship with American skier Lindsey Vaughn from 2013 to 2015. Their split was said to have concluded amicably. However, the unfavorable circumstances surrounding his most recent relationship, which lasted from 2017 to 2022, brought him back into the spotlight. Herman moved in with the celebrity while working as a waiter at the Woods Jupiter in Florida. However, after the celebrity ended their relationship two years ago, Herman filed two lawsuits against him. Herman had sued the golfer's estate for £23 million, $30 million, claiming that he had tricked her to get her out of his house following their breakup. However, Herman withdrew the action in 2023. Before that, in 2021, Woods had been in a potentially fatal vehicle accident that required surgery for open fractures in his right leg as well as damage to his foot and ankle. Between the Rolling Hills Country Club and the Five Star Terrania Resort in Rancho Palos Verdes, where he was filming for Golf TV, Woods was traveling in a rented Genesis GV80 luxury SUV. According to reports, he suffered horrifying injuries after losing control of the vehicle on a downhill section of Hawthorne Boulevard which has a minor bend in it. The vehicle struck a wooden traffic sign that was placed on an elevated and turf center reservation. Just ten months after the collision, he pulled off a remarkable return to face Charlie in the PNC Championship in December 2021. However, considering how challenging his recovery has been, 
Woods remarked. Just lying there. For three months, I slept in a hospital bed that it's challenging to describe the difficulties of being motionless for three months. My main objective was to just look forward to going outside. There were some extremely difficult moments, and although the agony occasionally got pretty intense, I could see some light, which gave me hope. I am feeling optimistic. Woods has remained out of the spotlight in the years after the accident, but he has stated that he wants to play more frequently on the PGA Tour. Recent years have seen injuries hamper Woods' recovery. Most notably, earlier this season, he was forced to withdraw from the Genesis Invitational. He does, however, appear committed to staying on the PGA Tour. Given that Woods overcame controversies, injuries, and the verge of retirement to play on the PGA Tour, his tenacity is admirable.